this is always the case, okay? When I make an unfunny joke and people are like, oh, I'm like, brother, you have to make a hundred jokes and 10 of them are going to be so unfunny. You're like, bro, that is like the worst joke I've ever heard. But for that, like five are going to be so banger jokes. Like the entire table is going to be laughing for two minutes. Okay. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's just, it's just the case. Dr. Schmidt went uh, to, um, went to Spain and he wanted to eat authentic bull testicles. He was like, no, no, I have to eat this. I have to eat this. So he goes to a restaurant, eats and they're like, no, 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 no. Gets the waiter over. It's like, listen, okay. I want the real bull testicles from the next winner of the tournament, right? So they always have like bull fights. Uh, and they're like, I want that, those testicles. I want real testicles. And the waiter's like, absolutely no issues whatsoever. Please come back tomorrow. So Dr. Schmidt comes back tomorrow, like the next day. And he's like, oh, I'm so excited for it. He gets served the testicles. He eats them. They're like, he's like, oh my God, they taste absolutely amazing. He waves the waiter over, says they were spectacular, phenomenal. But the testicles were a little bit small. And the waiter says, well, the bulls, not th they don't always lose. There was the drop. Now you understood it. He wasn't eating bull testicles, I can tell you that much. If you didn't understand the joke. <sighs> oh man, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I don't get it. So uh, in bullfighting arenas, there's a human that, uh, that, um, that has like the the red thing and that like the Masador or whatever that um, fights against the bull and the bull didn't lose. So he didn't need bull, bull balls. This is the funniest jerk I've heard in a while. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying, bro.